Today I'm gonna to share with you one of my all-time favorite breakfast recipes, spinach artichoke quiche. It is so easy to make, it tastes amazing, it's full of flavor. Now if you love recipes, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Let's make some awesome. Mornings are crazy at my house. We're always racing after school during the week. We're often late. And on the weekends, we like to sleep in. We are not morning people, but I am a breakfast person. I love breakfast foods. And so we often do breakfast for dinner, usually once or twice a week. And this spinach artichoke quiche is one of our family favorites. Now we're gonna start this recipe by starting with the crust. And I'm gonna make a super easy to make pat brise. One of the great parts about this recipe is that it can be made in a food processor. Now a pat brise is a crust that's not very sweet, so it's perfect for those savory foods like pot pies and this quiche. We're gonna start by adding the flour, the salt, some shortening, and some cold butter. And combine. It should resemble like kind of a coarse meal. Now add some vinegar and some ice cold water. And mix again. Now turn the dough out onto your counter and uh, pat it and twist it into the shape of a disc. Wrap it in plastic wrap and then refrigerate it for about 15 minutes until it gets chilled and firm. You can always put it in the freezer for like eight to 10 minutes, just watch it so that it doesn't get too hard. While this is in the fridge or freezer, this is a great time to prep all of your other ingredients. So this is ready and now we're gonna roll it out. Flour your counter or your pie bag and add your crust to it and flour the top. While you're rolling out, constantly be turning the pie crust so that you get it nice and even and you can maintain a circle easily. This is one of the reasons that I love a pie bag. Now for this quiche, I'm using a 10 inch tart pan with a removable bottom and about one and a quarter inch sides. And of course, I'm gonna use a parchment paper circle on the bottom. Make sure to press that crust all the way down into the corners and then cut off the excess. We're gonna use it to fill the blank spots. And then trim the edges. Use a fork to prick the bottom now cover it lightly with plastic and refrigerator for the next 10 to 15 minutes. Now is when we're gonna make our filling. This is also the time to preheat your oven if you're gonna bake it right away. We're gonna start, of course, with the eggs, half a dozen. Then the milk, and whisk that together. Add the salt and the pepper, and whisk again. Add the spinach, the artichoke hearts, onion, and garlic, mozzarella, fresh grated Parmesan, and crumbled bacon. And give it a stir. Now obviously this is where you can really have fun with your quiche. You can change up any of the components or ingredients as long as you keep that filling to egg ratio about the same. You can add different spices or different cheeses and play with it. I like to sometimes throw in a little bit of hot sauce or a little bit of Monterey Jack for a little bit of kick. And of course I usually double the amount of the garlic. <laughs> now pour that filling into the tart crust. Spread the filling out kind of carefully. I find that a pat method tends to work well. Now I always put tart pans on top of other cookie sheets. The reason for that is that removable bottom of the tart pan, if I go to hold it at all and I accidentally press on that bottom, it's gonna completely destroy my crust and the quiche and cause problems. So always use a cookie sheet underneath. Now we're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes. The top is gonna to get a beautiful golden brown and the center would be nice and set. Now once that's out of the oven, you wanna let it set for about 15 minutes so we can pull the pan off without everything just kind of falling apart. Get something that's smaller than the pan, but is nice and stable so that you can place it on top and slide the outside off. Then using a spatula, slide the quiche off the bottom plate. Now, as you can see, that was super simple to make and anything with bacon and cheese has my vote. Mm. So easy, 
so flavorful. I need to make this way more often than I do. Now in the comments down below, don't forget to let me know if there's any other recipes that you would like to see. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And you can watch the next video right here.